What's up everyone, it's TyranitarTube and welcome to the start of my Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire coverage. In this series, we're gonna take a look at anything that pops up on the internet from rumors, theories, leaks, scans, and anything whether confirmed real or not and go in depth about them. With coverage like this popping up on the internet every day, I'll try to be as frequent as I can carving them. So let's begin. Let's start off with this scan. This scan surfaced the web a few hours after the epic revealing of the Hoenn remix from Nintendo themselves. This scan features gameplay screenshots of you choosing your starter as well as gameplay of Rayquaza in battle. They also show a screenshot of what can be seen as the cutscene in Sutopolis City where Rayquaza calms down Kyogre and Groudon. It also shows the silhouette of what can be seen as the fusion of Kyogre, Groudon and Rayquaza which seems to have the appearance of Rayquaza with alterations. Down near the bottom of the page shows that Skeptile and Swampert will have Mega Evolutions in the game to go with Blaziken. This scan does seem extremely realistic, but there are a few things that can prove the scan is fake. First off, take a look at the starter selection screenshot. That screenshot is a photoshopped version of X and Y starter selection screen. It looks identical. And let's remember something. In Ruby and Sapphire, we choose our starter from out of a briefcase out in the open, not in a lab like the screenshot shows. Game Freak has always maintained continuity in their work, and this is something they would never do. Secondly, the 2D art used for these Pokemon were created by Ken Sugimori back in 2003, around the release of Ruby and Sapphire. Like we've seen with Fire Red, Leaf Green, Heart Gold, and Soul Silver, the 2D art used to promote the game is always new and more advanced to go with the newer graphics that the remakes introduce. Because of this, I feel like the scan is fake, but it does show some really interesting ideas that should be considered. Next up is a scan that surfaced just a few hours ago that mainly showcases a mega evolution for Skeptile. There's not much to the scan other than the unusual Pokemon near the top and the Kling Clang at the bottom that may hint at it receiving a mega evolution. A lot of you tweeted this image to me claiming that it must be real, but let me break the news to you, it can't be. First off, take a look at Mega Skeptile. Its wings are just Noivern and Tropius' wings sampled in and recolored. And what is this? You see this? You know what this is? It's a Bionicle. Let me know when Game Freak decides to add Bionicles into the game and I'll consider the scan. There is also concept art being created with things that fans hope to see in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. This fan-made image shows the hope that the new remakes would reintroduce the mechanic of Pokemon following you, just the same way Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver did. But don't get too sad, as the Pokemon Company has promised us gameplay footage tomorrow, so be sure to look out for that. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. Let me know what you hope to see in the Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire gameplay trailer that will be revealed tomorrow. Personally, I'm hoping that Pokemon will follow us again so I can walk with my Tyranitar again. I'm also going to be breaking down the gameplay that will be revealed tomorrow, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out.